Hi guys, Alpha here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is actually a start of a new series that's more geared towards people who are just getting into the game. So if you haven't been playing the game for a long time then this video is not really for you. Uh, I've just seen a lot of people in my comment section struggling with some basic things like installing and downloading mods. So what I thought I would do is make these videos where I explain everything and so in the future if ever anyone is having a problem I can just um, go and refer them back to this video. So first of all I'm gonna show you guys where I download most of my mods from. So I have two websites, um, the first one is called ets2.lt and I've been pretty much downloading mods from here I, I guess for like a couple of years now so it's a really good quality website you know usually it gets updated about two times a day or even three times a day with new mods so and when you go onto the website obviously here in the middle you have all the newest mods but if you want to check some older mods you can just first of all you can search mods here or you can go by the categories as well so and it's really easy to download mods so if you see a mod that you like, you just click download here. So it's gonna refer you to sharemods.com most likely because that's what most people use to upload their mods to. Uh, that's mainly because it's gonna show some ads which should be harmful for your computer so don't worry about that. But uh, it also helps the mod makers because they earn a little bit of money from each download. So um, just you know, you can download your mods here it's a very good website it's a legit website so like if there's some fake mods or whatever then usually they do get remote uh, so overall the website is very well monitored and it gets updated daily so go ahead and check it out so the second website is actually a forum and I think this is the official forum for the SES software's uh, games so first of all if you go to the website uh, you will have other mods or other games here as well so you know American Truck Simulator, Sky and Truck Driving Simulator, whatever all the games are here so and what's good about this website is it's not just for mods you have screenshots here you can just discuss about the game you know you know there's people here who know a lot about the game so if you're having a problem or whatever you can just come to this website and get help so but because this is a mods installing video, uh, we're gonna, gonna go to mods here and here you can see you have different uh, I guess categories for mods so you can just click on one and it will refer you to the posts and if you want like truck mods or trailer mods then you have to go here to models and from here you can choose which one you want so uh, because this is a forum every mod maker will make your own thread here or a topic uh, there's no like one way to download the mods so you're gonna have to go onto the actual topic itself and uh, read through it and see where the mod files are to be where the mod links are so uh, it's not as straightforward as it is to that LT but also I think this has some mods that do not get up uploaded anywhere else so it's a good way to get some exclusive mods as well so now that we have our mods downloaded, the next step is to actually put them into the mods folder. And to do that, you go to your documents in your computer. Uh, from here, you choose Eurotruck Simulator 2, and here you will have a folder called mod. So just open that, and you will have to drop all your mod files into here. Now, there are a couple of different formats the mods can come in. So first of all, the most straightforward format is that .scs or just an scs file and if you download that file then you just drop this um, file into the mod folder but if you have like a .rar file then obviously you're gonna have to open it and get the files from there and also with uh, .zip files sometimes they are the mods themselves but sometimes uh, the zip file actually contains the scs files so the best thing to do if you have a zip file is just to open it up and see if you have some folders there like dev folder and vehicle folder or whatever 
then just close it up and put the uh, zip file itself into the mod folder but uh, if it contains like some .scs files uh, then obviously you have to take these scs files out of there and then put them into the mod folder it's quite straightforward but just to avoid any confusion i am just gonna talk about it so so once you have all the mods that you want in your mod folder the last step is to actually go into the game and activate them so let us do that so once you're in game uh, just choose your profile don't go into the profile but just click on it once so it's chosen and then from the right uh, choose mod manager so once the mod manager is open you can see here on the left side you have all the mods that are in your mod folder and then on the right side you have all the mods that you have activated on this profile so if you want to activate the mod just choose a mod from the left side and double click on it and it will appear on the right and then the mod is activated so and if you want to disable a mod then just double click on it in on the right side and it will appear on the left side and uh, the mod is deactivated so last thing to do is to confirm the changes and then you can load up your profile and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do to install the mods so there are a couple of more complicated things as well like the load order for example so you can increase or decrease the priority of the mods but i'm not really gonna go into this in this video because, because it's very mod specific so if you're having a problem with you know a couple of mods or whatever you can comment down below and uh, i will try to help you like individually so because it's it's really impossible to talk about all the mods at once when it comes to load order so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did or if you just found it helpful then it would very much be appreciated if you leave a like rating and also subscribe if you want to see some more videos first of all on just ets2 and also i might make some more tutorials like on modding like how to make skins or edit definition files whatever if you guys want that then just request this down below in the comments so again thanks for watching guys and i will see you guys in my next video